What if I told you that everything you've learned about black holes might be wrong? That these cosmic monsters, which devour everything around them, could have a secret rival? Something even more mysterious that scientists can barely explain? Well, get ready to meet Gravistars, objects so strange that they might completely rewrite what we know about the universe. Science has always told us that black holes are the most extreme entities in the cosmos. But what if something exists that perfectly mimics their behavior, only without an event horizon, a black hole that, in reality, isn't a black hole at all? And worse, what if these Gravistars are already out there, hiding in plain sight, fooling astronomers all along? It sounds like science fiction, but some evidence suggests they might be real. And if that's true, it could change everything we think we know about gravity, time, and even the very structure of the universe. The problem? Very few people are talking about it. But today, you're going to learn everything about Gravistars, how they might be challenging black hole theory, why they could be the key to one of science's greatest mysteries, and most importantly, whether we might have already found one without realizing it. Let's talk about a new cosmic contender. Gravistars. Imagine a black hole, but without its most terrifying feature, the event horizon, that point of no return. Sounds like science fiction, right? But that's exactly what Gravistars promised to be, a theoretical rival to black holes, an exotic structure that could rewrite what we know about the universe. These objects are described as cosmic soap bubbles, made of pure energy and surrounded by an ultra-thin yet absurdly strong shell. Now, think about this. What if, instead of an extreme collapse forming an infinite singularity, we had a core filled with an unknown type of energy, unlike black holes, which swallow everything without a trace? A Gravistar might defy this logic, maintaining its structure intact and perhaps even allowing a glimpse inside. Some scientists argue that if they exist, they would be one of the most intriguing pieces of the cosmic puzzle. But hold on, if black holes are already difficult to understand, how on Earth could Gravistars be detected? Well, the answer lies in how they interact with light and gravity. Like black holes, they warp space-time and distort everything around them. However, unlike their more famous counterparts, Gravistars lack an event horizon, which means that, in theory, something falling in could come back out. Yes. It sounds bizarre, but this is one of the reasons they challenge the current rules of astrophysics. If a Gravistar truly exists, it could change everything we know about the structure of the universe, leading to new theories about the nature of gravity and dark matter. But to better understand how they form, we need to look at the most extreme moments in the cosmos. The death of a dying star. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it doesn't simply fade away like a candle in the wind. On the contrary, it explodes in a titanic supernova, scattering its matter across the universe and leaving behind a collapsed core. Normally, this collapse results in either a neutron star or a black hole, right? But what if there were a third possibility? Gravistars enter this equation as a fascinating alternative. Instead of forming a singularity, that point of infinite density found in black holes the core of a collapsed star could transform into a dense, exotic energy bubble. Rather than a bottomless pit that swallows everything, we would have a completely different structure, where the laws of physics might be entirely rewritten. But wait, how could this even be possible for a Gravistar to form? Hey, I need your help to be saved from falling into space forever. All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. The star's matter would have to be rearranged in an unprecedented way, creating an ultra-thin yet incredibly strong shell around a core filled with compressed energy. This structure would prevent the formation of an event horizon, something unimaginable in classical black hole models. In other words, we would have an object with immense gravity, but without that classic point of no return typical of black holes. If this theory is correct, then the universe could be hiding these objects in places that have long puzzled astronomers. Some detected anomalies might actually be Gravistars disguised as black holes. But to better understand what sets them apart, 
We need to examine their outer structure, a shell thinner than anything known. Now comes the most mind-blowing part, the shell of Gravistars. To begin with, this outer layer is so thin that it defies logic, yet at the same time, it's strong enough to contain the entire energy of a collapsed star. Imagine something so resistant that it would take the energy of an entire supernova just to stretch it by a mere meter. That's right, we're dealing with one of the most extreme structures science has ever conceived. And what about temperature? Well, if you think the vacuum of space is cold, know that the shell of a grav star takes it to the extreme. Scientists estimate that this outer layer would be the coldest material in the known universe, so frigid that its temperature would be only a billionth of a degree above absolute zero. In other words, frozen at the quantum level. But what makes this shell so special? Here's where things get truly mysterious. For a gravistar to exist, it would require a form of exotic matter that has never been observed so far. This substance would have completely different properties from normal matter. Perhaps something that prevents total collapse and keeps the energy bubble stable. If this is true, this structure could be the key to answering even bigger questions about the universe. Maybe dark matter, which makes up a huge portion of the cosmos without us being able to see it, is somehow connected to gravistars. But to understand how they work on the inside, we need to look beyond the shell and explore what lies within. If the shell of gravistars is already one of the strangest concepts in theoretical science, their interior is even more intriguing. Unlike black holes, which compress all matter into a single point of infinite density, gravistars would have a completely empty core, a true perfect vacuum, but not just any vacuum. We're talking about an extreme version filled with a mysterious form of energy. Think of it this way. When you remove all the air from a container, you create a vacuum. But in the universe, a vacuum is never truly empty. It still contains quantum fluctuations and residual energy. In the case of Gravistars, this internal vacuum would be even more exotic, so dense and so energized that it could sustain its own existence without needing an event horizon, unlike black holes. What does this mean? Essentially, that Gravistars could contain a type of energy never before observed, something akin to the energy of space-time itself. And if this is true, we are looking at an object that could completely redefine our understanding of gravity, dark matter, and even the expansion of the universe. Now, if gravistars and black holes behave so differently on the inside, can we distinguish one from the other just by observing their influence on space? To answer that, we need to compare them directly. Looking at a black hole or a gravistar from a distance can be like trying to tell apart identical twins. Both exert an immense gravitational pull, bend light around them, and distort time in ways that defy common sense. But there's one crucial detail. Black holes have an event horizon, an invisible boundary where nothing escapes. Gravistars, on the other hand, lack this definitive barrier, which could completely change how they interact with the universe. Imagine throwing a probe toward a black hole. The moment it crosses the event horizon, it's gone. No signal will return. Not even light can escape. Now, in the case of Gravistars, the probe could, in theory, be ejected back out after some time. This happens because, instead of a singularity, Gravistars have a different kind of interior, something more like a bubble of compressed energy. But if they look so similar from the outside, how can we tell them apart? That's the billion dollar question. Scientists believe one way to solve this mystery is by observing how these objects behave during collisions. When two black holes merge, the gravitational signal produced is a single, powerful thud. However, if two gravistars collide, they are expected to generate gravitational echoes, small remnants of the merger that our instruments might be able to detect. And this very detail has been keeping scientists up at night. Have we already recorded these echoes somewhere in the universe? If so, we may have observed Gravistars without even realizing it. And the key to this discovery might lie in the cosmic music of gravitational collisions. The universe has its own way of speaking, and one of the most fascinating forms of communication is gravitational waves.
Vibrations in the very fabric of space-time that ripple across the cosmos like the echo of a distant thunderclap. When two black holes collide, the result is a single, powerful burst, a definitive signal. But what if they were gravistars instead of black holes? Ah, then the sound would be very different. Instead of a single impact, the merger of two gravistars would create a kind of cosmic music, an echo reverberating through space. This would happen because, rather than a dense, absolute singularity, gravistars have an elastic shell and an exotic core that can oscillate after the collision, releasing a sequence of gravitational signals. Think of it like a giant drum. When you strike it, it doesn't produce just one sound but multiple reverberations before fading away. This theory has already led scientists to reanalyze data from observatories like LIGO and Virgo, which detect these gravitational waves. Some researchers claim to have found small anomalies in recorded signals, subtle variations that could be the so-called gravitational echoes. If confirmed, this would be the first real evidence that gravistars are not just a mathematical concept, but something that might actually exist in the universe. But it's not that simple. Scientific skepticism is strong, and many astronomers still see gravistars as an unlikely hypothesis. After all, if they really exist, why haven't we observed them directly? This leads to an even bigger debate. The scientific resistance to theories that challenge what we think we know. If black holes are now an accepted reality in science, it's worth remembering that this wasn't always the case. In the past, the idea of a star so dense that not even light could escape was considered absurd. It took decades for accumulating evidence to force scientists to accept their existence. And now, history seems to be repeating itself with gravistars. The biggest problem is that, for now, gravistars are still just a mathematical hypothesis. Unlike black holes, which have been photographed and studied through their gravitational effects, gravistars don't yet have a definitive signature. To make matters worse, their existence depends on a type of exotic matter that has never been directly detected. This makes many physicists skeptical of the idea. But science advances precisely by challenging paradigms. Theories that once seemed impossible have become part of our understanding of the universe. If gravistars can explain some of the inconsistencies in black hole physics, then scientists will need to take the possibility seriously. And this is where new generations of telescopes and gravitational wave detectors come in. With increasingly sensitive equipment, we may soon be able to capture signals that confirm or completely disprove this theory. Which brings us to a crucial question. What discoveries lie ahead that could reveal whether gravistars are real? The search for answers never stops, and gravistars may be closer to detection than we imagine. A few decades ago, the idea of photographing a black hole seemed impossible. Yet today we have captured its silhouette at the heart of the M87 galaxy. So, what's stopping gravistars from being the next big scientific breakthrough? Researchers are increasingly focused on detecting the so-called gravitational echoes, which could be the unique signature of these objects. If future observations confirm this pattern, it could be the first step toward validating the theory. Additionally, Space telescopes like James Webb and the next generation of radio telescopes can help identify anomalies that don't fit the expected behavior of black holes, and perhaps some of them are actually gravistars in disguise. Another promising path is the study of dark matter. This mysterious substance makes up most of the universe's mass, yet we still don't know what it is. Some hypotheses suggest that gravistars could be linked to this enigma, and if we manage to understand one, we might solve the other. One thing is certain, the universe always surprises us. Who would have thought that a purely theoretical concept, like black holes, would one day become an observable reality? Perhaps gravistars are following the same path. But as scientists race to find these answers, one question remains. What if we've already passed by a gravistar without even realizing it? If gravistars are real, we may have been interpreting the universe incorrectly this whole time. And that leaves us with one big question. What else could be hiding right in front of our eyes? How many other discoveries has science yet to make simply because we've been looking for answers in the wrong place? Now, 
I want to hear from you. Do you think the black holes we know are really what we believe them to be? Or could some of them actually be Gravistars in disguise? Does this theory make sense to you? Or is it just another wild idea from theoretical physics? Drop a comment below. I'd love to know what you think. And if you love questioning everything you thought was true, you need to watch this other video. Sixth Mass Extinction? It's closer than you think. The future of humanity may be more connected to these cosmic events than it seems. So don't waste time. Click on it now. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered, and you won't want to miss this journey.